All right, welcome back to the BIOS 1310 lab, the human anatomy and physiology labs at Ohio University. Today, we're looking at the sagittal view cut of the skull, brain, nasal cavity, everything of the head and the neck. So let's dive into it and first begin with the nasal cavity. Now this empty space is the cavity, but it includes First off, the external nares. Those are like your nostrils. Then we have the superior, middle, and inferior conchi with the superior, middle, and inferior meatuses. Directly posterior to that is your internal nares. Now you also notice there's a lot of bone. This is the nasal bone the hard part of your nose, the cribiform plate of the ethmoid bone of the skull, and we have the frontal sinus and the sphenoid sinus. Additionally, from the ear, the eustachian tube opens up into the nasal cavity. Traveling down, you'll notice some more spaces called pharynxes. The space in between your nasal cavity right here is the nasopharynx. As we travel down, we get to the oropharynx, which is a space following the oral cavity. So this is the oral cavity, and this is the oropharynx. Here is the tongue with the hard palate or the roof of your mouth, the soft palate where it becomes more muscle and fat, and your uvula or that punching bag in the back of your throat. Additionally, your tonsils, the palatine tonsils, which are the most commonly removed tonsils when you have a tonsillectomy, are right here. Your pharyngeal tonsils are way up here. As we work our way down, inferior to the oral pharynx is the laryngeal pharynx. It's that space in between this and the trachea. Here's the trachea, the more anterior, larger tube, and the esophagus is posterior. Now the epiglottis, which is this branch right here, the epiglottis can open to allow air to travel into the trachea or close, and the probe would represent the epiglottis when you swallow, so food can go down the esophagus. Now different parts of the trachea or the larynx, we've got the hyoid bone. So this is a bone right here. The hyoid bone does not articulate with any other bone. Jump down to this giant blue part. This is the thyroid cartilage, which includes your Adam's apple, which would be right here, and the cricoid cartilage. In between is the cricothyroid membrane, which is what we did the lab experiment on. And deep within here, we have the vocal folds and the vestibular folds, which produce sound.